Hey guys, thanks for joining my monthly summary video for May 2019. This one's really late. Uh, I've just been really busy. I mean, you had the UK GEE and I was really busy on that. Then I came back and I had a really big job to do. Uh, so it's just been late. But I'm going to try and squeeze as much as I can into this. And of course, I'll be announcing the winners for the various competitions. The double Chronicles of Crime um, bundle. Plus the last month's um, competition for the summary video, which was for Say What. So, we'll do those in a bit. But let's get straight into the to the summary. So, uh, four games played I played this month. I played 29 games, which is quite low down compared to some of the previous months. But that doesn't include any of the, the demos and stuff I ran over at the UKGE and stuff like that. Although, it kind of swings over into next month. But anyway, so I played 29 games. Um... The third most played game was a copy I got from Dungeon Drop, which just finished on Kickstarter now. I did a Kickstarter preview for that. Uh, that was actually a lot more fun than I expected it to be. Uh, it's quite an abstract little dungeon game. You pour out all these cubes onto the table, and then you're basically trying to connect up little rooms and collect everything from the rooms. So it's sort of like a very different type of dungeon crawler, if you can even call it that. Uh, it's really fast. I mean, you play the game in 15 minutes. Um, unless you're AB prone, which in the video you might see we got stuck a couple of times with decision making. Uh, but it's actually quite fun. Uh, it funded really well on Kickstarter and uh, I'm really happy with that. I played that twice, by the way, for that month. And then, this is something, a blast from the past. My second most played game, and this is one of big favourites of mine, um, which is... Versus System. This is just a deck box, which I have some of my old decks in. As you can see over there, don't know if you can see that, uh, but when I was running my shop, uh, this used to be a massive favorite of mine. I mean, I used to be crazy in love with this game. Uh, it's made by Upper Deck Entertainment. They have 2.0 out now, but it's just the shadow of, a, of the game it was before. Um, when I was running my store, I used to have massive tournaments, a large following playing it. I used to build decks, used to go to the, all the big tournaments and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it a lot. A very, very fun, interesting superhero card game. Obviously, two player, CCG type thing. And uh, it was just randomly after a gaming night, Walter and I decided to play some games. And uh, I pulled out some of my decks and we just had a few friendly games for old time's sake, which was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed that. Played three games of those. Uh, and then my number one, or the game I played the most this month, was. It's a Wonderful World by Le Bois de Joux. I'm not saying, I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but this was on Kickstarter. It funded really well. This is a preview copy. And uh, it was actually really, really good. I made a slight mistake. Uh, <laughs> it's really interesting. Uh, when I was playing this game, I read the rules. I started playing it a couple of times. And I was playing it correctly. But then for some reason, because I play so many games and so many rules I read, that I convinced myself to do it differently. <laughs> so in the video, I then went back to, like instead of doing it properly, I went to a different way. It was just a minor thing, but it changes the game quite a bit. And uh, that was really silly. But nonetheless, the game is really simple. It's a drafting game, building a little symbol civilization, which, you know, kind of engine building where you, you the more buildings you build, the more resources you get, the more points you can make towards the end of the game. Also really quick, I mean, it plays 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how many players you're playing. I really enjoyed that, actually. Really good. And I'm looking forward to... The, it actually even comes with little campaigns as well and stuff, so I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, those were the top three games. I played that three times last month as well, by the way. Um, some of the other games I played that I thought was really good was Shiver Me Timbers. That's just been cancelled on Kickstarter now because it was just about to reach its running goal. But uh, the... Um, the designer wanted to uh, come back at a later stage with a better improved campaign and hopefully unlock some more of the stretch goals. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good. It's a, um, a sandbox style, maybe 4X. I wouldn't say called 4X. But basically, you're, you're a ship and you can go out and do missions for the governor or recruit new crew, fight and raid sh little merchant ships and vessels, become a merchant ship yourself. And the ships themselves increase in size as you increase your merchant cargo hold. And cannons that get added to the ships, sails and speed around, map layouts different. 
can go hunt monsters, dig for treasure. It's a really cool pirating game. And I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. And I actually thought it was going to do well. I mean, when you look at games like, say, for example, Merchants and Marauders and Zaya, those are very popular games. And this is like a combination of both of those games. You've got the Merchants and Marauders theme, but in a, in a more sandboxy style. And then you've got Zaya, which is the sandboxy style game. But this one is like that, but just better mechanics. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't do as well as it w they were hoping, so that's been cancelled. Come back later. Uh, and another game I played was Underwater Cities. This was the by design of Vladimir Suchi. And uh, first time I played it, it was really good actually. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's a you know it's a typical Euro affair, but it, you guys have probably heard this many times about uh, the game itself. But it's really interesting how the the actions work, where you got these cards and you place them down onto a color coded area. And then if, you, if they match, so the card is color-coded to the, air, the area that you're placing it into, then you get both those actions. But if, you, if they're not, you only get the, the area's action. So you kind of steered to trying to do the actions that match so you can get both those actions. And you're building this underwater city with you know farms, kelp farms, and science labs, and all sorts of stuff. Really cool. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to playing that again. So with um, those are the games that I played. Um, I'm going to include a little bit of the UKGE in there. I did a ton of demos for um, Kingdom Rush and Chronicles of Grime. Uh, and that was really fun. I mean, I, I enjoy going to conventions and doing the demos. And I played a lot, a lot of Kingdom Rush. But as I was saying to the people that I was demoing it to, it was a very truncated sort of mission. Um, it was just to give the feel of what the game was like and the decisions that you get to make. So I never logged any of those games or anything like that. Just on the basis of that I felt like a lot of the time, you know, it wasn't a, like a proper game for me because I was just showing it to people. So that's that. Alright, uh, on to some videos for the channel. Uh, gaming Battle Nights, I did, I've done nothing as we've said before. And when I do do stuff for that, I'll announce it rather than constantly saying, I did nothing for it. Um, videos, I did... Well, technically I did 10 videos, I suppose, if you count the fact that it's overlapping into the, the month that we're in now. Um, but I did, what is this, five previews. I did one for a game, a little card game called Forks. This is by own Mark Stockton. Uh, he's done the he's design, a designer for, I think it was Newspeak from ITV. So this was his independent game that he done, little stock taking sort of card game. Interesting game, preview videos on our channel. Uh, obviously we did Dungeon Drop, which was um, obviously done really well. We did Shiver Me Timbers, um, Daring Dust Bunnies, which is coming to Kickstarter still. And that's from Hopwood Games. Uh, interesting little theme. Uh, I've never seen a theme like that, where you're basically playing little dust specks that you find on the floor and stuff when you're hoovering up, and that sort of thing. And then you're basically daring, like daredevil dust bunnies, as they call it. So you're trying to get as close as you can to the Hoover without getting sucked up into the Hoover, which is hilarious. Um, and we also did A Wonderful World, um, which, which, as I said, we did actually that wrong. Uh, one little mistake, and it changes the game quite fundamentally. Um, anyway, but it still gives you the idea of what the game is like. I mean, of course, when that comes out um, to retail, I'll get a copy and then I'll do the, the rule properly. I uh, did another review for with my family for the Little Night section, which is our, our family-related games, you know, where we show off some games that you can play with your family, and I get my kids involved, let them play, and show how the game goes. And this time we did Talisman Legendary Tales. Now, don't let the name put you off. This is by Pegasus Spiel, and uh, the word Talisman is the heading of the game, but this is nothing like Talisman yeah, as such. I mean, it's set in the world, I suppose. Ooh, this is upside down. Mark is going to kill me for that. Uh, this is set in the world. So, you know, the, fa the generic fantasy rogue fighter warrior, that sort of thing. But, um, it's more like a... Well, it's a bag building game, for one. But it's a very streamlined bag building. I really like bag building. So, when I got this to play with the family, it's kind of a campaign game as well. So, basically, you're working together... To complete this quest and the quests are really interestingly done in that the map there's only a certain amount of map tiles and they hexagonal tiles and you lay them out 
depending on the grid and the mission you're playing. And then you have a story and you have to complete the story by completing certain missions and you go around fighting, drawing tokens out of your bag. And you can, there's a tiny little co-op element where you can draw tokens from other people's bags. And when you get treasures, you can give them to other people instead of taking them yourself, making the bags more variant or more consistent. Uh, and then you're basically trying to find these talismans, which give you, depending if you play easy, medium or hard, will give you more stars and they will unlock later stages and so on. Uh, we've been enjoying it. My family and I really enjoyed it. In the review, we stated as much, saying that we're really enjoying the game. We played um, just recently on Father's Day. We played another two missions. Well, actually, we played the same mission twice because we lost the first one. Uh, but we still really enjoy it. And the fact that it's named Talisman, I think is a detriment to it. And I say that, you know, don't kill me, but I'm not the biggest fan of Talisman itself. You know, I think the board game was obviously great back in the day in the 80s and stuff because there was nothing else like that. But the mechanics now don't, I don't think, translate well to the modern board game hobby market. And uh, there's obviously still a big following for it. And there's obviously now, I say that, but there's now two Talisman games coming out from, is it Usopoly? We've got Talisman Kingdom Hearts and Talisman Batman. And I'm actually interested in seeing what they're like. But if they're just the generic standard um, mechanics that they used previously, then I'm probably not going to enjoy it. I mean, I played the Fantasy Flight uh, 40k version Relic. And that was, you know, it had some interesting components and some s nice little upgrades to the game. But ultimately, it was still the same mechanic. And it was just too random for my liking. But this one is not. So I suggest try it out and check it out. And then finally, this probably technically should be on next month's summary video, but I'm going to talk about it now because that leads to the competition. So if you want to just skip all my ramblings, then I'll put a little timestamp here, which will take to the competition winners, and you can just skip all this. But I just want to briefly mention, I did three videos for the UKG. Um, I did a walkthrough of all one, walkthrough, walkthrough of all two, and a kind of a vlog video where I did some interviews and took some pictures and had a chat with some people and just generic stuff that I was doing that I sort of accumulated footage of and then added them all into one video. And that's obviously where I also got the um, video the, where I announced the competition where I was giving away a copy of Chronicles of Crime plus Red View plus the little glasses. And then, of course, Lucky Duck Games, where Vince from the owner, he was kindly went and said, I'll double that to two, two prizes to give away. So I'll announce the winners of that in a minute. But I just wanted to say I had a great time in the UKG. I mean, it's probably, I probably mentioned all this in my vlog anyway. Um, but I had a really good time. The, the convention was really good to me in terms of my business. So I got some new commission painting jobs. I met some new people to to talk to that will lead to hopefully more jobs I got the beautiful thing about the conventions is you get to talk face to face with other people from the industry and you know you get to talk to them about games and and the hobby and stuff like that but also about your respective um, businesses and the painting side is obviously my primary primary business and uh, I got some more jobs and more work and I'm trying to build a niche into that market where well we'll see in the future how that goes but that was really good and then i also got more games to review and the channel is doing better as well because of it and obviously the competition helped as well and then of course uh the other thing that i'm now venturing into is game design and i took a couple of games that i'd been working on and i took it with to the expo and i was not p pitching it to publish as yet because i'm not ready for that just yet and i don't want to do a kickstarter myself uh, so I'm hoping to rather just sell it on to other publishers. And I got some great feedback, uh, especially from my primary game that I'm working on, um, which was the bigger, more interesting, elaborate one, which I currently I'm calling Themyscira, but that's just a, a placeholder name, if you like. Um, that got really good feedback, and I was really happy with how you know I can take that further. And so, you know, all three of those facets, plus the enjoyment of just playing games with people you don't normally get to play with and seeing so many other people that are enjoying the hobby and working with the Lucky Duck guys, um, which also led to another opportunity for me. So, I had a great time and I want to thank everyone that I spoke to and helped me out with the various things. So, that was awesome. 
But enough of my ranting and going on about stuff. Uh, let's talk about the competition. All right, so I'm technically giving away. There's going to be three competition winners announced. One will be for the Chronicles of Crime bundle. The second one will also be for Chronicles of Crime bundle, which is donated by Lucky Duck himself. And then the third one will be my summary video. Every month in the summary video, I give away a game. So we'll start with that one. So this copy was going to be given away to someone who commented on the previous summary video. And I should probably give away another one for this one. I just remembered that. So we'll get back to that in a second. So um, the comment from last month was Team Clueless 40k. This is your copy of Say What Now. And uh, com comment on the description below. Or I'll, I'll, you know, in the description below there's my Facebook page. You can send me a message on there and I'll get this sent off to you. Um, then the first winner, uh, and just so by the way, uh, at the end of the video, I'll put up a little video that I filmed of me doing the random picking. So if you want to, if you want to see that, that'll be at the end of the video. But the first winner is Deep Diving Bloke. <laughs> That's an odd name. Um, he did have a comment on there, which I said on the video. I can't remember what it is now, but I obviously got the name written down here at the bottom. And I will comment on his comment further down in the post. Again, description is my Facebook page. Comment, contact me so I can get your address and get that bundle sent off to you. And then the one that's going to be sent by Lucky Duck themselves, as I don't have the games here, is... Oh my god. The name will be here, but it's... Foster Scanning My Hand. Is that right? I don't think it's right, but basically, again... Just check out the name. I'll find the comment comment on there saying that you won. And then you can contact me via my Facebook page for your address. So those are the three winners. Congratulations, guys. Thanks to everyone who entered. Thanks to everyone who watched the video and liked and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Because obviously the more the channel grows, the more I can grow. And I don't mean physically because I've grown enough. Um, but it's all building into a bigger thing for me and I really appreciate that, that you guys are taking the time to watch the videos and you know subscribe and follow all the nonsense that I do anyway uh, let's talk about um, painting side of things for painting nights I uh, put up some pictures um, I did some uh, Madara heroes so Madara is obviously a big sort of dungeon roleplay story type game I don't really know much about it I've got to be honest uh, I know people are comparing it to maybe to Gloomhaven, um, which is obviously a big compliment because Gloomhaven is the number one board game on Board Game Geek. But I painted up the four heroes. They got this weird sort of anime style. The figures were okay. Um, I didn't think they were out of this world or anything like that. But they were functional and they painted up fine. And they look good, I think, as a, a painted set. The, the gentleman I painted that for, obviously, he had a ton of more figures that comes with the game. And he's looking forward to getting me to do some more. Uh, I also painted out the Fallout expansion. Um, Fallout, I'm a massive fan of Fallout. As you can probably see with all my bobbleheads at the top here. And I've got all sorts of stuff. All the games, all the miniatures, that sort of thing. But what I don't have is the expansion, which is quite annoying. And I quite like the further base game. I mean, I know it, it, it's got some flaws. I, I, first, I, and I, I agree to that 100%. Uh, but I still enjoy the game. I think it's really fun and um, I haven't played the expansion or even got it yet But I did manage to paint the figures for someone else and I should probably pick up a copy at some point Maybe I'll wait till it gets cheaper because they're not cheap uh, And I also paint and of course pictures, but if you want to see better pictures link Facebook so on Ah, I also painted up my Bloodborne promo mini. I say a promo, it's like a replaces the first player marker. It doesn't come with a game, but I managed to pick one up online. Um, it was quite fun actually painting it. It's a slightly larger, larger scale miniature, which ironically is something I've been doing over the last week or so quite a bit. Um, but the Bloodborne promo miniature, I did it in this little uh, artistic picture where I put it next to the box art so it looks like the same. It was cool. Um, it, that was more like just for funs, funsies. I did it kind of as a maybe as a little promotional thing as well because the Bloodborne uh, Kickstarter for the board game was going at the time and uh, that was obviously a good time to paint that and it's my copy of the game so it would be good to have that painted anyway. Um, I think those are the only three things I uploaded at that point 
Um, we'll have a lot more coming for the next month's summary video because I know I've already, since this video I've uploaded, uh, I think a Renaissance football blah blah team. Um, we did this, um, well, Carlos just joined um, the, the team, i.e. me and her, um, for painting nights and she's going to do some um, full-time painting for me as well now. She's a really good painter. Uh, I would almost venture to say at one point I th definitely thought she was better than me but because over the last few years I've been painting a lot more than her so I think maybe I caught up or maybe just just bypassed her a little bit. I hope she sees this so I can motivate her. <laughs> Uh, but she's really good and uh, she did a fantastic job on those twisted figures so we just uploaded that as well and then I'm doing um, for mythic battles or mythic games rather um, I'm doing the super fantasy brawl miniatures and uh, that's a really tight deadline that hence why this video is so late uh, is because I've been sitting here knuckling down trying to get that done beautiful minis and obviously their, their studio painter, uh, Seb Levine, he does a fantastic job on the miniatures. Far better than I'm going to do it. Uh, but obviously he had a lot more time and he's a better painter than I am. But uh, I've still, I've been sitting here locked to my, cha my desk, painting those figures, getting them all done for in time for the Kickstarter, which starts on Tuesday, the 25th of July. Um, and I've painted up one of each of the base figures which will they'll be then using in their, their videos and so on like that. And I might be painting some more stuff for them in the future, which is really exciting. I've got some other stuff that I've been doing for some of my regular customers, some D&D figures. Um, I'm doing some promo figures for um, Draw Lab, who have got a Kickstarter coming out soon for Fired Up with the prototype copy over there. And I'm rambling again. Anyway, I've got a lot of painting jobs coming up in the future, hence the reason why I've now conscripted Carla to join me for the painting side of things. But also, she's been helping out on the view on the view, on the channel with um, reviews and gameplays and so on. So she'll be doing more there in the future, and maybe I'll drag her some, to some of the conventions with me as well. Anyway, let's find a game quickly and give that away, or we'll make that the, the competition for the next month. And uh, we can finish this off. Congratulations to the winners of the previous competitions. All right, I've got something to give away to you guys for next month's summary video. So to enter this competition, all you have to do is comment below, and it could be anything you you want to say. You know, it's, I don't know. Tell me the, what what could be better in the videos. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you enjoyed playing recently. Whatever you want, just comment on with the video. Like and subscribe as usual just so it drives the interest up. But this month, I am giving away Gretchen's from De Vere. It's a brand new copy, as you can see. Um, it's I've got another open copy already, for some reason. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a review of that at some point in the future. Um, but if you want to win, just comment below, and I'll do a draw for that best commenter next. Not best, I just randomly do it. And uh, that will get you a copy of this sent to you free of charge. And I keep banging that on the table, which is quite annoying, I would imagine. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. I uh, appreciate watching the videos. And hopefully I'll get to see you guys in the future conventions coming up soon. I'm hopefully going to be going to Dragon Meet, to Tabletop Live, uh, maybe Handicon. And uh, hopefully next year in the future, I'll be doing a lot more representing Lucky Duck Games. So, see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right, so this is the YouTube comment picker app thing. So I'm going to put in the URL there, get the comments. See, 97 unique comments. I've filtered out any duplicates. So then we go down here, and let's pick a winner. Well, at least this is the first one. And it is... Deep Diving Block. <laughs> Cheers for the video and prize offer. My game of the UKG was Villagers. Only played two players so far, but it's a bit of a table hog. Well done, dude. Or people. I will, con I will obviously, if you see this video, you will see it there. And you can contact me on the link in the description below. And uh, we can get this sent off to you. Congratulations, my man. And as we have two copies to give away got to go for that again so obviously if the same person is picked the second time then uh, we will redraw 
but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's see who's it going to be. Foster. What? Foster Scanemy Hand. Didn't make the expo this year, but must must most played game would be claustrophobia. Oh, that's a good one. So there you go. Those are the winners. Congratulations, folks. I'm really happy I could give you games to you guys. Contact me in the description, like I said, in below, and I will get that sorted to get sent out to you. And you guys can enjoy playing Chronicles of Crime. Thanks a lot.